Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Lee Finnegan tried to assure fretful John Finn Finnegan Plus, Penelope Poppy Nozawa finally got a visit from her daughter at the penitentiary. Keep reading and let's discuss about today's B&B recap for Wednesday, August 28 indicates that Steffi Forrester Finnegan wakes up in the cage. Steffi hears footsteps and shouts for aid only to discover it's Luna. Luna brags about her nice bed at Bill Spencer's Dom Diamond Mansion. Steffi pleads with Luna, stating she has children. Luna urges Steffi to relax. She's basically the kid's aunt and she'll look after them. The prospect of this horrifies Steffi. As Luna goes, Steffi shouts, tears, and beats on the cage. Finn chats to Lee about Steffi in his office at the hospital. Lee believes Finn didn't do anything wrong. Finn says he didn't listen to Steffi's warnings about Hope Logan, and now she's gone. Finn misses Steffi. Shyla Carter Sharp is with Katie and Deacon Sharp at Il Giardino. As Deacon brings over a tray of tea, Shyla says she can't believe Katie traveled all this way just so she could say, I told you so. Katie says, how is it conceivable that I could have believed you'd injure someone? Awkward. Shyla tries to help Deacon with the tray. That is when Katie observes Deacon's injury and asks about his arm. Deacon tries to blow off the injury, but Sheila says it was damaged unpacking a container. The bold and the beautiful recap for Wednesday, August 28 shows that Deacon can't believe what Katie just told him. Katie understands how much Deacon cared about Tom Starr and Hollis. Deacon wants Poppy to rot in prison for the rest of her life. Sheila feels sad for Luna. Katie feels horrible for Luna, too. Deacon says it hurts that Luna has to go through her mother's incarceration and the non-paternity bombshell alone. Deacon doesn't think Lee is that warm. Sheila mentions that Luna has Finn. Sheila believes Finn can bring some sunshine to Luna's life. Lee promises Finn he will get over this. Finn asks how Lee is taking Poppy's arrest. Lee doesn't think Poppy is a killer. Finn points out that they uncovered proof in Poppy's apartment. Finn says if Poppy didn't kill Tom and Hollis, then who did? Poppy assures Luna she's innocent. Poppy thinks the truth will come out. Luna wonders what if it doesn't. Poppy assures Luna not to worry, that she will be okay. Paul Hollis Hollister generally aided Deacon with shipments. The talk goes to Poppy and then Luna. Katie corrects Deacon when he talks about Bill and Luna's father-slash-daughter bond. Lee tells Finn to text or phone Steffi. Finn says he needs to respect Steffi's limits and she warned him not to reach out. Steffi is drained from all the yelling and wailing. Steffi gets a bottle of water and then rethinks swallowing it. At the jail, Luna visits Poppy. Finn doesn't know who would set up Poppy or why. Lee claims Poppy isn't a planner. The killer was methodical, and it needed meticulous planning. Lee can't tell Finn who would want Poppy framed. Lee is afraid about who could be slain next, though. Steffi is shouting and wailing. Steffi is losing her voice. Katie talks about her suspicions regarding Poppy. Katie tells Deacon and Shyla about Luna and Bill's dynamic. Katie thinks having a daughter brings out something different in Bill. Poppy doesn't comprehend. It doesn't make any sense. Luna informs Poppy that Katie must have gotten into Bill's head. Poppy wants to know how Luna knows the second paternity test wasn't manipulated. Poppy feels even worse. Luna tells Poppy that it's okay, she has Bill. Poppy is delighted for that and clearly has no clue her daughter is a soulless murdering machine. Luna tells Poppy that she believes in her innocence. Visiting time is done and Poppy tells Luna not to leave Bill's side. Shyla questions about Bill continuing in Luna's life even after the paternity test. Katie feels they have a real connection. Deacon thinks Tom and Hollis didn't deserve this. Shyla agrees and gets up from the table to go behind the bar. Sheila brings out enormous framed photos of Tom and Hollis. Deacon is affected by the gift as Katie watches from afar. Luna is in Baker's office. Luna thinks her mother is not innocent, and she can't cover for her. 
that has Baker's attention. Luna says she has evidence that Poppy is guilty of murdering Tom and Hollis. Lai wonders if Finn has spoken to Luna. Finn hasn't but will swing by Luna's flat. Yes, the same apartment where Steffi is in a cage. Steffi is on her knees in a cage. Steffi hunches over and fingers her wedding ring. Steffi begs for Finn to help her. Share your opinions in the comment area below. Remember to keep watching The Soap on CBS or Paramount, plus to find out what happens next. Meanwhile, Deputy Chief Bradley Baker gets an unexpected offer of evidence. Keep reading to find out what is coming up in the next episode of the CBS Soap, Opera Up and Be Spoilers for Thursday, August 29 show that Bill's brain is still spinning over the recent offense. Bill was startled when Poppy was arrested for murder. Now Bill is thinking if Poppy could be innocent. Then there is finding out that he isn't Luna Nozawa's father and the kisses in the episode of Thursday, August 29, fans may expect Bill to see Poppy in jail. Bill will share a bombshell with Poppy. Bill will notify Poppy that he and Luna did another paternity test. Poppy will be horrified to find that the fresh paternity test proved Bill is not Luna's father. Bill will want to know if Poppy interfered with the initial paternity test. Since Luna told Steffi Forrester Finnegan she obtained a bogus test online, Poppy isn't guilty. At the same time, Poppy might be bewildered about how it's feasible. The bold and the beautiful spoilers for Thursday, August 29 suggests that someone delivers Baker an unexpected offer of proof. This will presumably come from Luna. The young sociopath will undoubtedly turn in something to cement Poppy's destiny. Luna will probably put on a lovely innocent act and act as if it's torturing her to turn up evidence that could convict her mother. However, may this brave move of Luna's end up exposing her sheen. In Thursday's episode, Fans might also witness John Finn Finnegan continue to obsess about Steffi's whereabouts. Finn won't be able to get Steffi out of his head. Therefore, he will turn over every stone hunting for his real love. Meanwhile, Steffi will try to figure out a way out of KG Dilemma. Can Finn find and save Steffi before it's too late? Will Luna go to prison, a mental health center, or could she be murdered off? Luna's future now doesn't appear so bright anymore. Which narrative are you looking forward to witnessing the most on Thursday, August 29, 2024? What are your expectations for Luna, Steffi, Poppy, Bill, and the other characters? Deacon says it hurts that Luna has to go through her mother's incarceration and the non-paternity bombshell alone. Deacon doesn't think Lee is that warm. Sheila mentions that Luna has Finn, Shayla believes Finn can bring some sunshine to Luna's life. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you enjoyed the bold and the beautiful, make sure to give this video a thumbs up and leave a comment below with your thoughts. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.